So it's been over a month since I started the Hardcore Challenge, and I think I finally have an endgame objective. On the very first day, I was killing scabs on woods, and I got myself a Kibaki. Are you absolutely fucking kidding me right now? And you know what's crazy? Is we're never gonna be able to use it. At the time, I mentioned that I would never be able to get that Kibatsuki, but as the weeks have gone on, I've done a few of the early gunsmithing missions, and now I'm working my way up to part 8. Now, in order to get the Kibaki that I'm looking for, I need to complete part 11. And looking at some of the modification lists, it's not going to be that difficult for me to actually get there. So that's my current endgame achievement. Can I actually get access to Keba on my own, barter only? I think this is a very ambitious goal because I'm going to be leaving for a little while, so I'm going to have to race the clock. Nobody knows when the next wipe will be, so it would be awesome to try to get there, and if I don't, I'll let you guys know how far along I actually got. But that being said, here on YouTube, we are very far away from actually getting to the point of completing some of the more difficult gunsmith missions. So for now, we got lots of fights, some levels, and easier quests to get to first before I can even consider focusing on getting the next Kibaki. So I've been reading a lot of the comments here on YouTube and Twitch, and I see there's a lot of other people that are getting involved with the Hardcore Challenge, because barter-oriented gameplay is actually pretty sustainable and replayable this late in the game. If you're a big Tarkov fan like me, just doing the same old PvP with full gear, buying everything from your dealers, it kind of gets a little bit old. But one of the challenges with playing this way is always finding reliable medication. Obviously, people are going to immediately assume that I'm getting all of my medication either by killing players or going to the health resort, and I can tell you that's actually not the case. I find sometimes getting into the health resort and surviving from other players is difficult, and going to Mantis on Interchange, I frequently run into Killa on my med raids, and I might not be using the right armor and ammo combinations to properly kill him, basically causing me to fail my med runs. The most secure way to get medication in the hardcore challenge, and this might be something you may want to consider uh, if you're running like low budget real raids too on your main accounts, is duct tape and paint and matches. You can usually fill up your entire backpack by hitting a couple filing cabinets with useful barter items duct tape, matches, ES lamps for grenades, horses and chainlets for attachments for your weapons, paper for contacts, and I'm just like kind of at the tip of the iceberg here. And you also have the probability of rare items too. And for weapons, it's really easy to kill a couple scavengers to get an ADAR, an AK-74, or a Vepper to build your weapons off of the attachments you get in your raid. But you can also do trades with mechanic like three red pliers, or even a car battery for a Mosin PU sniper to get weapons that you can actually use to fight even the end game players. And finding boxes of BT are fairly common in certain locations on Interchange and Shoreline, as well as conducting the barters for Tashanka beef cans, uh, and also doing the two hot rods for 30 BS rounds. After you take a look at some of the new barters that are available for the dealers, there's actually a good tab. You just click the barter tab and it shows you everything available from your dealer that you can trade for. You'll quickly realize that this type of challenge is not only feasible, but you can thrive. Kill him, right? Woo. This guy knew about the aliens. That was a really great point fire. The first bullet did him in. Lucky. Uh, this is dangerous. I don't like this. I don't want to cheese peek him. We could cheese peek him and probably get the kill. Right now, if I chose to. No, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna cheese peek him. Just, you know, it's kinda cheating. That's why. When I refer to the cheese peek, I mean the Alt Q or E peek, but it's been hot fixed after this clip was taken. No, it's just cause I've done it too many times when, when labs first came out that I, Whoa! Tank that shot, man. This is kind of nuts. Okay.
Yeah, this is why LPS is probably better. I'm I'm rolling for it. My gagishas. No way I can. There's no way I can make it work. I want to keep the gagishas though. And this is where one of my rules bites me in the ass. If you noticed during that clip, I didn't loot the scab boss pockets, so I didn't technically get the key to get into Terra Group Labs. I still got the RPK, the armor, and the helmet out of the raid, but unfortunately, that slight oversight caused me to lose out on a good labs raid. But now, we're finally into the current patch content. 11.5 dropped, so the audio profiles have changed. Finally getting there. And there's a guy up in Sniper Tower, it's possible. Not seeing up in Sniper Tower. No! Oh! <clears throat> That's kind of a yikes. That's a nice saga. I like it. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to move around. Yeah. <laughs> Might be another. Or, like, the guy inside with the uh, big boy gun might come outside. Why the fuck do all these players come in? Well, I, I jumped into an already active firefight, so... Yeah, I'm worried that our boy might come outside through, like, one of the escalators or something. And the directional audio has been improved so much, it's, it's actually kind of awesome. This is gonna be a good patch. People are gonna dig it. All right, we gotta kill some scavs for uh, Punisher. Okay, maybe I'm regretting not taking the Comtex. I see one stack. Yeah, that's not the guy we're looking for. Yeah, we're looking for a guy with a rifle. Maybe an AK. Okay. Yeah, this is why I wanted to get that guy's mosin. He's dead. That's the other guy. That guy's got some kit. I don't know if he got him or not. I doubt it. The 
playing right side of that rock? There we go. That's not the guy that was shooting initially. Yeah, they're they're still somewhere in that area around the rock. That's super dangerous. There he is. He's down. Very exposed over here. Oh. Dude, this Moslin is the play. I'm so happy we killed that Mosling. Holy. Very lucky. We just hit one. Player scav, I think. Backpack? Um... Can't take the armor. Could've taken maybe the backpack. Could've stacked the bag, maybe. It's the only thing I regret. Ah, I got a lot of attack twos. I don't know. I don't want to go back. Massive improvements in the audio. Massive improvements in the audio. This is the guy I was trying to avoid. That name is, is that guy's name Kombucha? Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not going, I'm not doing that. I need the ammo though, fuck. I'm not, I'm not doing this. Just in case there was like a player scab down there. Do 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 do. Wow, what a raid! Hi YouTube, how y'all doing? See you guys in about a week or two. Banks are evil. You know.
There's more. Fuck. Problem is, they were fighting somebody. This could be the guy, actually. Man, I felt like I put my red dot on his face and it took a long time. I think there's one more, yeah. I don't know. This guy's got a drum mag, so that kind of makes sense. I can't see or hear anymore. What the fuck? I can't. Just trying to click, like, control click it into my inventory, but. I dropped him. Yep. Ah, oh, man. Is it a team? Is it one solo? Or is it two guys? Is a dead dude right there? Oh, there's another dead dude right there. Fuck it, man. I don't care. A what? I'm not dealing- I'm not dealing with that. Dude, my luck has been so shit today, I'm not gonna do that. I know, we have a full bag of loot though. I'm not gonna loot the other guys. We're gonna- we're gonna go. Dude, the ADAR. ADAR is- honestly... I don't know if I want to say it, but I certainly feel it lately that the ADAR is better than the M4. And I know that's like not the case with a fully modified M4, but if you have a standard ADAR and a standard M4, I'm taking the ADAR every time. But if it's a fully juiced M4 with recoil reduction, then I'll go the M4. But standard ADAR versus standard M4, ADAR all the way. Why is the ADAR better? Because it's more controllable with semi-automatic. The initial recoil is not nearly as rough. So you can actually land more shots with it. Unless you're like point blank against somebody. Or they have uh, recoil reducing. Oh my god, he did. AI. Yeah, the, the semi-automatic M4 initial recoil kick is worse than the ADAR, for sure. I think they need to make it more comparable to the AK-74. But, I think the only reason why they don't do that is because with all the recoil reducing attachments the M4 has, it would make the gun too OP. You know what I mean? So they kind of counteract the end game M4 with a shitty early game M4. But the solution to that is, Reduce the M4's initial recoil, right? And it's ba redo the M4's recoil model, but then reduce the attachment, the effectiveness from the attachments.
Yeah, I really think the M4 has a long way to go, and I know I'm not the only one who thinks that. It's probably one of the weapons that needs the most rework and love. And the ADAR is just such a fun gun to use, but in comparison to the M4, the rate of fire is just not there. Nothing wrong with it, but I would much prefer the devs to take a look at that initial recoil and overall recoil patterns of the M4 to make it something that's more in line with the AK-74N, so players can truly choose between those two base weapons weapons uh, to operate in the raids. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's going to be about it for this episode of the Hardcore Challenge. I talked about sustainability, getting my resources through barter, and then had a lot of great fights. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already seen the Crazy Week video, I recommend going and watching it. If you're wondering when I'm going to be live next, there's more information about that there. Thank you.